Hey, Sean, I'm going to run on home. My mama's going to be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? I didn't. Well, now's the time. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Car accident. That so? Where are you headed before the car accident? Just uh, out for a drive. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow... We gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Teenage girl with her guts spilled out on the floor stood up from the dead and tried to bite me. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay.
I love you, baby. <laughs>